so today's topic is changing patterns of political sociology that where political sociology is nowadays what type of new areas what type of concerns the political sociologies sociologists have regarding nowadays society and state and what are the new topics which are included in the subject so political sociology become an important and vast field of sociology which has new topics in the field of the knowledge and due these topics are due to the uh, nature of the subject because the nature of the subject is not a static one because political sociology deals with human beings and due to the changing nature changing attitudes and behaviors of human beings this subject is considered a very dynamic so in the daily life what we are facing what type of challenges we are meeting these all are included in the subject matter of political sociology so today we are going to discuss all the changing patterns of this subject because there are some theoretical contributions specifically by the pluralists this school of thought it focuses on the dynamics of economics politics so we have to highlight all those points those are added by this school of thought specifically in the theoretical development because political sociology is a comprehensive knowledge based on the contributions by political philosophers the contributions made by the sociologists so it is quite interesting that what they are saying what they are adding to the subject matter of political sociology we have to highlight we have to understand all those areas like the policy domain we all know that the policies are basically the outcome of the challenges outcomes of the needs of the society outcomes of the needs of the human beings so whatever the policies are making throughout the world in the whole systems they are becoming the part of the study of political sociology then definitely the civil society because political sociology deals with the problems of human beings so sometimes governments sometime institutions they do not want to raise some voices so at that stage civil society comes in the field and they raise the voices against the violations of the laws and sometimes they raise the voices for the human rights so political sociology also deals with the civil society sometimes there are some volunteer associations they do not have direct concerns with the policies or with the systems or their limitations they only try to raise the voices for the innocent people and they normally try to raise the voices against the human rights violations or any type of violation whether it is by the system whether it is by some social uh, whether it is by some uh, social uh, constraints or even by the individuals and then there is a very important topic and very important area that is by the social movements we all know that social movements are very important area because wherever in the world there is violation against the human beings against those violations there are movements and sometimes these movements are considered the social movements and sometimes they converted into the political movements so another important point that the study of effects of media that in the changing pattern of political sociology the involvement of media is getting very much important 
whether during the elections voters political candidates ideologies they all have the involvement of media and these all areas are considered very much important topics of modern days political sociology then another very important area that is the contribution by the theories in the political sociology like the theories regarding the public opinion then there is the need of uh, the cultural impacts they all are considered the modern trends of political sociology so another very important topic that is the local nature of, of politics that why uh, when there is the talk about the globalization of politics globalization of world but political sociology has a very great emphasis on the local issues too so what another important topic is that is the talk regarding the political power cycle that there is a debate on power and the sources of power why how power affects the society and what type of role power has nowadays in the uh, in context of political sociology then another important point is that politics under post modernist school of thought that we all know that there are variety of school of thoughts but nowadays the post modernist they have many new debates regarding feminist school of thought regarding the structuralism functionalism so these all theoretical debates are getting very much important part in the trends of political sociology and the uh, last part last trend in the political sociology that is the talk regarding the involvement of institutions because institutions are getting importance no doubt because firstly only the state was the center of the talk then institutions involved but nowadays another topic another stage that is the involvement of rationality that how individuals how human beings are getting much more importance in all these processes so we can say that from the traditional talk about the state now a days in the 21st century in the modern trends of political sociology now the involve direct involvement of human beings the performance of institutions and the talk about the rationality that how much logical is the development so these all seven trends these are the modern trends of political sociology in the 21st century and the contemporary political sociology passed through a very evolutionary phase from the traditional talks now it has a very important list of topics list of trends and a list of new areas and definitely in the coming days political sociology may have the new trends and may be talking about more modern Uh, issues and the issues related to the social development issues related to the social capital and issues related to the individuals also